Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gazy, and it's been a very long time, and I have a lot to say. Um, first off, I submitted my application to the JET program for the 2023 school year. So I just finished it in the end of November, and I was working on a video about that, but I think I'll just use this one to explain that process. It was heavily stressful because two things, the statement of purpose and the references. So with the JET program, yeah, there are a, there's a lot of paperwork that has to be done. Uh, you're getting, trying to get transcripts and all that kind of stuff, and that's very stressful. Um, but what I found most stressful was the statement of purpose and the references. So I'll start with the statement of purpose. Uh, I've written essays before, and very I've written long essays before. I've never written one that was so concrete within a short amount of pages. That was two pages double spaced, but it is the, well, it is a statement of purpose, but it is highly concentrated explanation of your intentions of, of you, of why you want to do something. I, it was unbelievably challenging because I had to look and I had to look for the most concrete words that can express what I was why I want to be a part of the JET program, it, it was linguistically, as far as lexicals go, it was really tasking, but I managed to do it somehow. And I was at, I managed to do it within two pages, uh, try and, and double spaced, it was crazy. Uh, so there was that, but then uh, the references. So I have been, very ardent on wanting to be a part of the JET program, especially this year, and I'll share reasons why probably in another video. But I wanted to do everything the second the application opened. So when I started out, like filling out the application, when the portal opened up, I was like, all right, let me do it. And I, and I had everything I needed, I got brought out, um, a whole bunch of legal documents, my passport, and all that kind of stuff. I brought it all out, but then it came to the references. Now, I was relying on like two people. I was relying on two people primarily. One has to be, according to the website, one has to be um, an academic reference, so a professor that you may have had one time or another, and another one is a work reference, uh, someone from a leader position. Now, I am 36. I am, well, at the time I was 35, now I'm 36. That was hard to get because my, if you've seen my channel, uh, go ahead and watch my videos and you will see a myriad of occupations that I've had. One of the main occupations I had was owning my own business for around six, seven years. So, I didn't have someone who I could actually rely on to be a like work reference. So I had to dig hard to try to find one. The second one was a little easier. It was a professor that I presently had who was my academic advisor and she related to me in, in different uh, areas. We're both uh, licensed real estate agents and we both uh, attended and got uh, degrees from the same university, so I was like relying on her, and I messaged her, and they don't respond. <laughs> Your references, they will not really care unless you emote. Like, you have to be on these people like every, almost every day, weekly. And I was heavily stressed out. Um, I started to question just people and like, their intentions like like if you're trying to if you, you're asking someone from help and they're just pushing you off and pushing you off and that's what happened with one of my references that I felt that like I gave it was like November 15th I don't remember the correct dates for the submission for the jet program but 
the second the application opened up, I sent that email to those people and I was like, all right, one week, they'll probably finish whatever it is. Silence, radio silence. And I was like, well, what is going on? Did they read my email? They read my email. They re did read my emails. And it, and it kept on going. Midway into the uh, reference letter uh, portal time period, I got the academic advisor to fill it out. And I was like, praise the Lord, that's awesome. The second person didn't finish. Like they accepted that they received the email, confirmation email to uh, do the reference, but they didn't continue it. It was till like the last week when that person reached back out to me and they said, I'm gonna work on it. I'm sorry I delayed it. And I'm like, well, if you're sorry you're delayed it, you know, me, like leaning back thinking, are you really sorry that you delayed it or are you sorry that you're in trouble or it feels that you're, you're guilty? You're sorry for the guilt that you feel. That's what happened. That's, this is something that I do. I need to stop it. Like I need to stop like thinking like that. But I got so worried about the, about being a participant in the JET program. I was so concerned. I was like, man, I don't want to have to wait another year. I have life plans. There's some goals that I want to achieve. And being a part of the JET program is one of them. And lo and behold, they ended up finishing it. I'm very happy that that uh, finished. So I guess I will say it when it comes to the JET program, uh, dot your I's and cross your T's and care about this more than what anyone else will because most people won't care about something that you're doing in your life unless you care about it in an excessive manner that stinks that's not fair it, why do you have to repost your music you made a music video or you're, why do you have to continually repost, repost, repost to have your friends and family like it? it it's something that like demotivates me entirely. Like you guys know what I'm up to and I've said it ad nauseum. So why can't you guys just really don't hop on the bandwagon, purchase the ticket along with me and let's go on this journey together. And it's something that I'm presently dealing with and I think I'm going to be dealing with uh, that for a very long time because no one will see no one will see your vision they'll all they'll see if you reach the summit they'll they'll see that but they'll never see the vision and that's the most heartbreaking thing that I am presently dealing with no one will see the vision everyone wants to celebrate it's the little red hen no one wants to gather the wheat. No one wants to make the dough. No one wants to bake the the bread, but everybody wants to eat the bread. Um, that's just something I guess that I learned from in life. And you can't blame people for not wanting to believe in something that they weren't charged to believe with. You have to believe even if their non-belief is affecting you. So. I'm going to have a lot more videos to come out and I'm going to try not to edit them as like, because I, I just want to push out content because I got a lot to say. So my name is Gazy. Please join me on this journey. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much, guys.